si kitu ambacho anamkia tu sio naam eh vinywa vya wengi hii leo wiki hii nzima tangia mwanzo wa dimba la sekafa e, ni sasa ni finali hii hapo kesho Kenya dhidi ya Uganda eh nitangamana basi na mwana habari mwenzangu Jeff Mogire e, usalama ukoje e, najua umezungumza na timu hizi mbili Uganda na Kenya wanazungumziaje debi hili finali debi hili la migingo hapo kesho manake wanapenda kutumia kauli yani punda afe lakini mzigo ufike Jeff Mogire na hatimaye ni kwamba timu ya taifa inafanya mazoezi yake ya mwisho katika uwanja huu wa Kasagam shule ya msi ya upili ya Kasagam kisha baadaye mwisho wa siku ni kwamba finali ni kesho siku ya Ijumaa mwendo wa saa 8:30 itakuwa ni Kenya dhidi ya Uganda inaitwa Migingo Debi Debi ambalo kidogo lina uasama mkubwa linaleta hisia hisia za matokeo hisia za mchezo wenyewe na mwisho wa siku timu ya taifa hapa nimezungumza na kocha anasema kwamba amejipanga vizuri Salim Babu mmoja na vijana wake anasema kwamba ame amejifunza mengi kutoka mechi ya nusu finali dhidi ya Tanzania ambayo mwisho wa siku baada ya dakika tisini lishia matuta na Kenya ikaibuka na ushindi wa mabao manne kwa matatu na mwisho wa siku ni kwamba timu hii inapofanya mazoezi hapa inajua kwamba mashabiki kutoka wengi kwenye uwanja na inajiandaa kabisa kukisho kwamba inaridhisha ama inafurahisha mashabiki ambao watatokelezea ama watakuja kwenye uwanja kuitazama timu hii ya taifa ambayo ni timu ambayo ni ya junior stars wachezaji wazidi umri wa miaka 18 dimba la sekafa finali itakuwa kesho tumsikize coach Salim Babu anasemaje kuhusu mechi hii na anajipangaje kama timu yake na kama yeye kama coach pamoja na wachezaji wake Afri kuna umuhimu sana mkubwa sana kwanza kwa vijana ukiangalia vile kama sekafa melta tournament hapa Kenya kwanza ina, inapatia vijana wengi sana mutisha vijana wengi si hata wapeke yako kwa hapa kila kijana ukiangukisikia anasema eh afadhali next time nitacheza pia sekafa so sekafa mfanya jambo la maana sana kuleta hapa Kenya kwanza pia si tunafurahia pia sisi kama kocha ta tumejipanga vizuri na mazoezi tumeanza jana tulipiga active rest kidogo but nashukuru tena federation wametusaidia wametusaidia sana si federation na serikali pia unaona vile wanatusaidia vijana so imekuwa ni jambo la maana sana kwa preparation yetu ya kama Kenya so na furi tumejiandaa vizuri kwa finali manake tulikuwa mara kwanza tulisema tu tuingie kwanza kwa finali alafu plan ya finali na kujia hapo sasa si tuko ready kwa kila kitu yote kutoka hapo mbele kipindi cha kwanza mechi dhidi ya Tanzania kulikuwa na tashwishi kidogo vijana ni kama hawako click which is normal it happens probably tunaingia kwenye finali sasa unaandaa vijana aje kwa kisha kwamba kuanzia kipindi cha kwanza wanaanza kusaka magoli kwa zaidi dakika ya kwanza ta uh, ile ukiangalia ile mechi ya Tanzania kidogo walikuja kama wanataka kudefend kwa kazi spaces so, walijua vile tunacheza uh, but lakini ukiangalia game yetu Tanzania na, na Uganda ni game tofauti so pia approach ya yetu na Uganda itakuwa tofauti so nafikiri kesho pia itakuwa ni different game kulingana na ile tulicheza tulicheza game ya semifinali na tumejiandaa vizuri nafikiri itakuwa tumeweka vijana mentalis kidogo akili pia bali hao ni kwamba mchezaji wa ambaye ni kipa nambari moja wa timu hii ambaye alisaidia sana timu ya taifa na kuokoa mabao kuokoa penalty na kisha baadaye timu kufuzu amesema kwamba yupo tayari anasubiri tu kesho kipenga kipulizwe kisha baadaye Kenya ifanya kuwa kwa wachezaji wenzake wamejiandaa vya kutosha na unasema kwamba linalohitajika tu ni mashabi kujitokeza kwenye uwanja kuwashabikia wao na kwa kisha kwamba uh, wanafanya vizuri kwa kwanza tumejipanga poa na tunajiamini tutashinda timu tumekuwa nayo since day one tupatane hii camp tumekuwa na undugu zaidi na i hope naomba mafan kwa kwanza wakuje watu bebe jua ndo walitubeba semi finali si kufika finali ni fans hiyo moja ni wamekuwa na sisi since day one tunashukuru na tumejipanga poa coach ame to set mind i hope kila kitu itakuwa poa unajua kila kitu ni timu waka hapa ile wa credit tuko nayo hapo nyuma na si wote kama watu kumi na moja kwa uwanja iko juu kitu ya kwanza tuko tunataka concede but but mbaya game ya Somalia tuka concede but hiyo ndo life tunashukuru god mali tuko na kila kitu itakuwa poa kitu tu mimi naezaomba mafans wakuje kwa wingi watusukume kuanzia dakika ya kwanza hadi mwisho na tutape results Mapema awali ni kwamba usimamizi wa Sekafa pamoja na usimamizi wa shirika la soka nchini Kenya FKF walifanya mahojiano na wanahabari na wakasema kwamba wamejipanga vya kutosha maafisa usalama watakuwa wa kutosha kwa usalama wa mashabiki na usalama wa wachezaji ili kuhakikisha kwamba finali hii itakwenda ilivyoratibiwa mwendo wa saa 8:30 ni kwamba Kenya itakuwa inashuka dimbani dhidi ya Uganda na wanahakikisha kwamba mashabiki 10015 tu ndio utaruhusiwa kuingia uwanjani na kisha baadaye kusherehesha mchezo wenyewe na kuhakikisha kwamba mashabiki ama timu ya taifa inapata 
mwimbaji mkono kutosha ili kutua ubingo wa sekafa kwa wachezaji wasiozidi umri wa miaka 18 it's been a good day be a week two weeks uh, business people in kisumu and kakamega have really done well and i believe we need to get a situation whereby we get another opportunity to host such a big tournament sekafa is happy fkf is happy the national government is happy and the county government is happy and all kisumu people are happy I believe this 18 tournament has given kids who have never seen such a tournament to go through. The last time such a tournament was held in Kisumu, I think was about six years ago. We witnessed an incident um, of, of, of pitch invention in the last, in, in this in the semi-final match, uh, match day. Um, we, we understand that uh, the people of Kisumu and Kenyans generally were extremely overwhelmed by the success of the team. Um, Kenya has been out in the cold for a couple of years and um, uh, we've not had a lot of successes on the, rug, on the, on the football field and uh, indeed um, the fans were, were overwhelmed by that. But I think we must be very clear that um, uh, the pitch of play is out of bounds uh, for all fans and spectators um, and that's a directive that we cannot afford to breach um, at all. <clears throat> it has a lot of consequences. Um, um, from FKF perspective, uh, this country, together with Uganda and Tanzania, will be hosting Chan next year uh, and, and, uh, and uh, AFCON in, in 2027. And um, I think we, we must show that we have the capacity uh, to be able to, to, to do that. And that also comes with the discipline of the fans and the spectators because that counts a lot towards just ensuring uh, the safety um, and security of of players and, and match officials and, and tournament officials concerned. There's improved security that will be there. We, are, we don't want confrontation with the security team, but everything has been improved, including the VVIP. We are just asking people that stake to where you, you, you are, because the, the invasion included the VVIP here. So there's improved security. Kila muta kuje akijua this security. Yote tisa, kumi ni kwamba mashabiki wakichitokeza kwenye wanja na mashina vijana wetu, junior stars wafanya kwao, Kenya itaibuka na ushindi siku ya juma. Mimi ni Jeff Mogire, nikiwa hapa kisumo. Mwenzangu mm. Jeff Mogire, nkula juwa kwele manake kukuli.